signals the weekly wrap up. This is the first one we've done in a while for a weekly wrap up, but it's not going to be like your normal weekly wrap up. We are here today to kind of express um, a few things about the signals and what's happened over the week. It's been a tough week uh, for some of you. It's been very tough. Um, but what you know what they say when when you know the tough get going when the going gets tough, and you have to find a part of you in what you do and anything you do you have to find a part of you that enjoys what you do if you don't enjoy trading if you don't enjoy being a part of the system then you got to start asking yourself what what do you need to do you know because you got to love this you have to love the fact that through through anything there's trials and tribulations when you're in a program okay that you're safe in when you're training when you're training demo when you're trying to figure stuff out Knowing what not to do sometimes is almost as important as knowing what to do, right? I used to tell my little brother that all the time. Maybe he's in the room. Don't always do what I do. Do what I don't do, <laughs> right? Because I could teach him what to do, but it's learning from my mistakes that really makes me who I am. Before we get started, we're going to st start. We're going to talk a little bit about money today, but not a lot. But really, I'm going to break it down to two things. Everything that we do is educational and trade assistantly. And anything I do show you doesn't mean that you can do it over what somebody else can do it. And it's all results may vary. Of course, they'll vary. And it's not even may. I should even take I should even just take that word may out of there. All results vary. All results. Because each one of us applies our own process to it. That's one of the main themes for today. Okay. Let me get Michael back on. Do, 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 do. I'm adding a co-presenter in today, Michael Ficka, who is a... Uh, um, very trusted trader within the network, senior senior level two. Hello, everybody. There he is. Hey, buddy. Um, Michael and I had some words yesterday when I seen in the room that there was like a lot of people complaining about losses and news and, you know, getting crazy. And um, we started to talk about, uh, you know, many, many different things. But we've been and I have personally have been building this process for the last couple of weeks uh, secretly behind the scenes is the news avoidance system. And last week, I, I finally said, listen, I, I want to take a step and just stand still for a moment. I don't want to build anything more and just focus on the room, get the pulse of the room, get these things. But then all of a sudden, I started to see something happening that needed my attention. It was that people were pushing the fringe of news trading, you know, not knowing when to get in, when not to get in, how to shift the uh, um, um, for or the um, investing.com tool around to put their advantage. They were making small mistakes here and there. Now, I knew that if we were going to try to capture their attention a little bit, we needed to be able to create something that would help them avoid the news. And originally we were going to make this solely for Dex Trader, but I didn't think that was fair. So we made it for Dex Signals as well. And that's why it's on today. Wow. I spent the last 45 hours coding and why I put so much time into this straight was because I knew that before what's what's about to happen for next week and the coming weeks, I needed to be able to uh, dive into a few things and I needed to have an availability to where most people would know not to trade the news, but that also I needed this tool if I was going to do it, it needs about a week to really ramp up, right? Does anybody know that? Mike says, Mike, you paid me a very nice compliment this morning that most of my stuff that I put out rarely has any bugs in it, right? And I appreciate that, Mike, I really do. But it's because we test the crap out of it prior to. This is the first system that I'm putting out like this that I haven't tested directly that doesn't come with back testing, that doesn't come with the data prior to. We already have a tremendous amount of data in intraday um, I just need to make sure that the news avoidance system does its job. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about another topic of a little bit of training goes a long way kind of stuff. We're also going to talk about the risk is yours and also another one. <laughs> Seniors are not perfect. <laughs> All right. And if you're a senior level two or a senior person in this room, leave the okay, room now. Just, Hurry. There's, a, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Put your freaking hands over your ears because 
<laughs> I don't want you to get uh, uh, the the wrong intention here, okay? <laughs> that you may not be perfect. You're perfect in my eyes, right? I love you all. You 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 are all the uh, awesome children of this of this great system that we have built, and uh, you you are the reason. You you and everybody else you work with are the reasons why we're here. Uh, Paul Paul can Paul Paul already knows that he's not perfect, so that's that's a good that's a that's a good first step. All right, but you, you're going to you're going to see here and hear some things that um, some of you may not like, and some of you may just be able to understand and just take take it as it is, take it as a as a condition of love that I really do care for every single one of you and your success. And sometimes you need to hear the hard truths. You know, I'll never pull punches, but I'll never be disrespectful. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Let's move on. And use avoidance system. If I wasn't so freaking tired, I'd be jumping up and down. Um, let's have a quick look at it. If I can find it, I think I broke it. Where did I break it at? I broke it. I think it's right there. Ah, look at that. I made it the first time. <laughs> there it is. No, it's not. Okay, here it is. If you can't see this in your portal just yet, right, go to the uh, green bar, right click, go down to reload frame, and it'll just reload this area here. And it'll pop back up, and you'll see any intraday. I, we should have just didn't sound so greeky, right? NA, now it's intraday. It sounds like a uh, Harry Potter spell, right? And poof, yeah, it makes all the news disappear. Poof, all the news disappears. Oh, look at that. It works. Okay. <laughs> um, and as you can kind of see, right, here's where news happened, and it released all this stuff in here, right? Here's, here's, here's the entire morning of news, the huge news set, right? And you have this entire process, right? That entire process was news. Um, this may have even been included to news because it was about a half hour prior to the top of it. Um, who knows? I don't, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. But if I were to go through and spell this out to find out what was news, this was news in here, this was news in here, there was probably some news happening in some of these over here. Because um, remember, news doesn't always equate into losses, right? Well, on some pairs it does, which I'll talk about here in a second. Um, so if I were to go through and filter out a lot of these with the news that's released, like this entire block would have been kicked out, you're going to see something happening. Now, today, there's not a lot of more stuff that's about to happen. Uh, there is some more news. You're probably only going to get a couple more signals. You're probably only going to get these two, maybe two more, three more, what have you. But, but starting Sunday night, getting into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. This thing's going to start to filter in better. You're going to see the better inclusions into the process. Okay. The intraday news is also, the NA intraday news is also on the DPC. Now, you don't get this over at Dexsignals, Signals, and I'm sorry. But for you Dex Trader people, this is going to be huge as well. There's also a new fundamental, which I forgot to put into the spreadsheet here or the sheet here, right? Intraday signals. Okay, and daily signals. We had a little misnomer happening for a little while. The day and the week, okay, were about, um, I'm sorry, the day and the week were about that particular day. So it started at 12 midnight and went to 12 midnight or 11.59 the next day. So well, that, that day, which was a mistake for, on our part because I wanted to have it over the last 24 hours. I don't care so much for today, like today's 12 o'clock. I'm talking over the last 24 hours. Now, why do we why do we have this over the last 24 hours, folks? Well, over the last 24 hours, over the last seven days, because when a new day ends, you want to know what the last seven days are, not of this week, not that Monday, because in the beginning of the week or the beginning of the day, if you win the first one, it looks like 100%. You get where I'm going? So we had to make sure that we use this. The data is very important. So now... The day and the week on the data processing center say the last 24 hours and the last seven days. Okay, look at that. Last seven days, 199 daily signals at 98%. That's 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 your banging. Um, intraday stuff is going to be even better here, um, but the NA results because this remember this is the news filtered out really really super huge. Oh look at that, 100%. Don't you love it when it looks like 100? But it only has two, right? <laughs> Let's see what happens over the next week. All right. So the entry, the entry day, the, the nah entry day. Okay. <laughs> when, uh, over the next week, you're still going to just be my eyes and ears. 
you know, I, I can't see it all. I can't fix it all. I can't find it all. You have to tell me what works and what doesn't work in there. You're going to find it is going to work very well for you, but it's not going to be perfect, right? Just because it filters the news doesn't mean it's going to win all the time. Now, let me show you something else. This is very exciting. Very, very exciting to me. Yesterday, I had this opportunity um, that I was able to compile a lot of data on a supercomputer, and I call it a supercomputer. The guy that I was borrowing the supercomputer for from was uh, very reluctant to do so, but a 42-year-old bottle of Glenn Fittich does a lot of wonders, apparently, especially when you love it. Um, and I was able to get inside and use this thing. I only had about eight hours to, to be able to use it. And yeah, Glenn was great. Um, but when I did, I, I, I used my time wisely. I figured out a lot of stuff out for um, what we have going on right now and using the news and the calculation or the process of the news avoidance system. And I was able to compile a lot of data. How did we build this system? Um, and, I'll, and I'll tell you about the data here in just a second. I wanted to get through this part of it. We took 4X Factory. Does, does anybody know who 4X Factory is? Here, let me let me show you 4X Factory. It is 4X Factory. There you go. 4X Factory has a news platform as well, just like investing.com does. But they use reds and different colors for your your um your information, right? So for, for all the stuff that's releasing, they do have a very unique process on getting the information out, okay? And it's done so by spreadsheeting and what we call an RSS feeding system. And an RSS feeding system on, on how this goes out, I can use because I can take it directly from the website. This website's been there for years and it's never gonna go anywhere. So what I did is that I took all of that, I put it into an indicator I turned the indicator into a delivery system to put on an actual page. And then I was able to filter out our signal base with that indicator that when news showed up of variant degrees of, of color, I could keep the signals coming out from that position. So that particular process has taken me some time to, to, to finally make it happen, but was was I was leaving it alone for the last couple of weeks because I was going to take a couple of weeks to not do it. But over the last 45 hours, I had an aha. The aha was it needs to be done because the mentality of a lot of people is that they're still effing up around news. Now, why would I have two systems in here? Why would I have a, I'm sorry, I, you didn't tell me the screen wasn't on. Um, here's 4X Factory, I got to show you it. You guys see it now. <laughs> What's Here's, the color system? It's green, yellow, red. It's 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 yellow, orange, red. If you can see oh, on the screen, orange. I don't know if you can see on the screen. Yeah, orange. can you guys see on the screen white. now? Yeah. <laughs> now. Oh, hang on one second. Not now, but uh, how about now? Yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so they have a, a, a red, orange, yellow system. Yellow being like one bull, orange being like two bull, red being like three bull. OK, so when you have these things and they, and they deliver out to our process and then if you see a red, a red bull uh, or a red, uh, <laughs> a red folder here, right, it says high impact. So it says it tells our system a half hour if a signal tries to fire within a half hour of this process and a half hour afterwards, don't don't let it show. But we have it on the website. So why would we have intradays up here with news? and NA intradays without news. Simple. Data. That's it in a nutshell. Why? Because we found that during news, certain pairs fire a signal and they lose on a high rate of frequency. We're talking 95% plus in some of them. And those that have a high rate of frequency that fail during the news why does that mean anything? Does anybody, does anybody in the room have an understanding why I'm so excited about that part? Because if I fail 90% of the time, 95%, if it fails, right, and it's consistent, what do I got to do? Do I know? Anybody in the room besides Michael? Switch it. 
flip it. Yang says, flip it. Yang's brand new, man. And he's like, yeah, flip it. <laughs> Reverse that shit. Yeah, absolutely. And if you were to see my program, one of my favorite tools in there that I had a long time ago with the 2020s and a few other things, the double stove and all these other things was the flip it button. And yes, Yang's like, I just joined today and I know, flip it. <laughs> That's awesome, right? Watch the videos, flip it. Um, absolutely. It's common sense, right? If 95% of it fails, it's great, right? Now, I haven't talked about this in a long time, but a lot of people don't understand that the market itself, no matter how good your signals are, will eventually, over a period of time, come back to what we refer to as the mean right and the mean in this market is 40 to 60 percent this is the death zone why because you can't flip this shit and make it work for you so stuff has to fall 39 percent to 61 percent has to be above 61 and below 39 for it to be profitable why because 39 you flip it right that should be that should be like our new thing flip it <laughs> Um, and that's what we've, that's what we started to look at here, but now comes a time of testing, right? We have to make sure that we put our money where our mouth is because right now, if I filter the trades, if I filter the trades in the program and let's just say, let's just pretend that all these big blocks you see in here, these big blocks of news, like this entire, this entire news section here, right? If we knew that a certain pair got hurt every time during news but look the auto jpy is here loses here loses here right there's there's news right you don't see an auto jpy winning right there right so if we had flipped it it would have won on both of them adding to it british gold pound loss british gold pound loss but there's a british gold pound win during news barely but still the win so this might have a high rate of success of doing it but maybe only like 86 to 90 percent so we may not do that one. You see what I'm saying? So I need that data now. That's that's where we really got to compile the data, you know. So during news, audit, look, another audit JPY lose. That's one of the pairs that was really singing at me. See what I'm saying? So if we could get through that process of finding out which ones constantly lose during news, then we can start we can start utilizing that to our advantage then I could let those pairs in to the NA intraday, okay, with a filter of flipping, <clears throat> which would be great. Now, that might have to be a new tab, right? Might have to be a whole new tab that we have to, you know, news filtered, you know, or reversed or what have you or whatever we would call it. But it would still have that availability. Now, you can only get these on the website. I'm not sending anybody's cell phone. Dailies are the only ones that are going to cell phones right now and to uh, Twitter filtering, Twitter, Twitter notification, okay? Hey, Max, is that gonna be applied to uh, dailies as well? No. News? No. Okay. The reason I don't apply it to dailies is because dailies work through the news, all right? Now, how can you lose one if, if, if dailies work through the news? Why is it lose during the news? Why not trade during? Because the shit still happens. If 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 signals can get affected in dailies, when the sig when news can affect the dailies, either in a very beginning of the signal being released and closer to the end of it being released, right? So if you have it on both spectrums, avoid the shit out of all of it, right? If you got news blocked, because look at the news that happened this morning, right? Let's be real. Who was trading the news this morning? This is this is crazy. If you traded anything from eight thirty to to twelve o'clock. You were just asking for punishment, right? No matter how good the dailies are, even just one loss in there, if you filter it out, you know, that's up to you. You want to take that risk. It's, you, listen, you're more than welcome to do so. But in the news avoidance process, yes, you, 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 you try to do your best with the dailies. But listen, if a daily is going to lose during news, <laughs> sorry, didn't want to sound like Dr. Seuss, putting a working order, it's going to get picked up, right? One of the things I tell people too that, and what I just started to really go back and look at was that news avoidance, if you're, if you're avoiding, like if it's USD news, like all this was this morning, 
doing something like the Euro JPY, would that get affected? And it's got a very low six, very low failure rate when you're, we call it, we 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 call this a um, a news void news not news avoidance but news void. When a news void trading process happens, it's usually because a if oops what happened here that's so weird. Oh wait, hang on one second. Um, when like if the USD news is coming out, everybody will run over and trade the Euro JPY in. In the market, right? Let's just pretend that that's what it's that's what it is, right? Because it is, sort of is, and we call this. And nobody wants to trade the USD anything because in forex it's too volatile, right? They're going to come over and trade the Euro JPY, and this news void that happens affects the Euro JPY beyond the normal standing, right? So that can happen in intradays, but in in dailies, trading the Euro JPY um, will. It won't get as affected as it would an intraday because it's got such a wide range on it. All right. So if you do have anything that's like USD related, don't trade anything. Don't put working orders on. Don't look at the signal and go, hey, this one's got 50 bucks on it. I have an opportunity to do a 50 50 trade. You're, you're asking for it. You're going to get it right between the eyes because that thing's going to come back and punch you right in the face. And you know what? Even if you do get away with it, guess what, folks? You're making bad habits. You're making bad decisions. You just were rewarded for making a bad decision. Winning during news doesn't make it right, right? Unless you're doing it in a phase that we've calculated and ran the data. I asked somebody. Somebody said, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a um, a lot of the British gold pound USDs trade really high. It's he had some sort of comment that he made, and I asked him, where did you get your data? He goes from trading at night the last couple of nights. Mm -hmm. My data arrives in packet form that I that I that I save it in. And when I went over to to compile the information yesterday, I, I had to bring it was it was on a it was on a disk drive. Not a USB formatted thing, not in a zip, but it was on a disk drive. It was his own hardware because it's so much data in there. I'm talking millions and millions and millions and millions of lines of of signals and codes and databasing information. And so I was able to take it over and stuff it into this machine yesterday. Okay, that's where my data comes from. It doesn't come from somebody just sitting here for the last couple of days. So if you decide to make changes in the way that you do things just over the last day or two of you doing something, you have to take that consideration of your success. I'm sorry. I'm willing to put all this extra time in, but you have to trust the fact that I'm doing it, that I'm actually in there making that process happen to show you that there there's deliverable process here. This is why the news was so important to me. This is why I had to let the intradays run the way they did. This is why I warned you, don't trade news. Not until we have it down, right? Paul has thousands of trades underneath his belt. Mike has thousands of trades underneath his belt, okay? But even them, they still make mistakes. Their senior level twos still make mistakes, still oh, yeah. forget to look at sinks, still go in a, a, a trade that might seem greed-oriented instead of, you know, gut-oriented kind of stuff. So mistakes will still happen. And we'll talk about some of that here in just a minute. So the data that I proceeded with will allow us to work with a reversal platform, just like I said. And the that that cool note is that uh, I've turned this into uh, a, a very useful tool for us into several different formats. One as just the news avoidance process for this is don't trade the news at all. And secondly, there's a possibility that we could actually trade during the news once the reversal system comes out. When that's going to come out, I don't know yet. I'm just going to let this thing run so I can gather even more data. It might take a week. It might take a month. I might see some data from the stuff we had before to be able to compile. Um, but until then, I'm waiting on a packet from Forex Factory. They're going to give me all of their previous RSS feed systems from the last year. And I'm going to overlay it onto our intraday signals. And we're going to have a lot of fun information from that point, but it's going to take some uh, computing power to be able to do that in some time. Another cool note, those over at Dex Indicators, they're going to get an indicator next week that's going to be a, uh, a news overlay system. It's going to lay right onto your chart. That's right. So if you see any bug up there in the news, you better not be trading shit. Okay. So pretty cool. Can't wait for that to come out. I'm almost finished. Actually, I am finished. I just got to, I want to dress it up and make it look pretty. Does that make sense? Good. Mike, have you um, 
you were in you're a, a DJ by trade, right? You've right. done some other things. You were a deal you were a dealer? Mm-hmm. You played, you played and you told me told me in privacy one day, is it okay if I talk about what game you play? Uh Bakara. Okay. Did you have to learn how to play that? Yes. How long did it take you to learn it? Very simple game. Um maybe uh an hour of watching videos and, and learning how to play. Mm-hmm. So you can probably say that a little bit of training goes a long way, right? Absolutely. Now, you learn how to play it in a very short period of time. How do you learn how to become good at it? Uh, keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. And um, There's a couple simulators on online that you can, mm -hmm. you can just get hand after hand after hand after hand and play them. So a lot of repetition, a lot of duplication, a lot of work Absolutely. and training. Mm -hmm. And then you sat down at the table and you become good at it. Okay? Right. That's what this program is. You get in, you learn a little. It gets you into the next phase. Okay. Now, what about a lot of training? A lot of training should yield you a tremendous resource here. But, big but, if you start to create yourself bad habits and start pulling in other things and adding different devices in, you can learn a lot of bad things quickly too, can't you? Yeah. Making mistakes is one thing. But doing bad habits, bad disciplines, could really hurt you so you have to do the discipline don't come up with other ways i've seen this in a room a few times and this is what sparked a little bit of this today i've seen some of you senior traders in there i don't see them in the room right now i've seen some of you senior traders in there even though i see one in there paul you, you even did one but that's okay it's your it's your prerogative but they're you know, getting into trades of certain things. I mean, the dailies you can trade during noon. So if you trade it, just be weary. Just, just you know, be understanding that, you know, you can't come back and like, oh, I, I, I don't, the dailies don't work for me because I lost one. Sorry. It's just the way it works. But if you're going to trade news, if you're going to trade around things, if you're going to get into trades of high rate of loss, you know, like I've seen somebody get into a USDCHF and ask, well, it's down there for $5. Let me see what happens. And if I see senior by your name and I see in the room, let me see what happens. You know, I'm going to skip to this one right now because I'm, I'm on this tangent right now. If you're a senior trader here, and if you're watching this after the fact, this applies to you too. If you're in the chat room, you see there's all types of traders in there. And there's elite, there's senior, there's senior level two. There's even soon going to be master traders in there. I'm going to be in there as a master. I think Paul's getting there very, very soon, as soon as he can find a way to not make mistakes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, there's going to be other people that are going to meet to this criteria. Now, a master trader doesn't mean you're invaluable. Okay. But you're going to see people in the room and you want to know that you can trust what they're doing. Now, for you senior traders... We know you're not perfect, but one thing I want you to be able to do is to keep yourself from speculating in a room. This is the toughest part, and I know it's, it's tough, you know, because some of you are going to say, hey, this is what I do, so don't follow me. No, you can't do that into a room. You see, Ken Wright came to me a couple of weeks ago. He was a senior level two trader in this company, and he said to me, I think it would be a great idea if we had all three websites, Dex Signals, Dex Traders, Dex Indicators, chat rooms, put into one chat room. Okay. And in order to do that, I had a little reluctance at first because I've, I, I know when you get a lot of people in the room, there's a lot of different mentalities that happen, especially for those that do things, right? Especially when it comes to money, especially with people that are unsure when they first get there and what they see, right? So I wanted to make sure, like I was telling him, you know, if we do this, it's going to be like, you know, Lord of the Flies kind of thing. I want to make sure that there's no, there's no craziness going on, right? So I'm letting the room navigate itself. And one thing I have to make sure with all of you, you senior level two or the top boys in this room and girls in the room, okay? You cannot be leading by dis example. I don't even know if that's a word. Okay, you have to be leading by example, which means following the rules, following the process. If you don't follow the rules, like if you're trying something else out, you better be doing it in demo. You better be touting you're doing it in demo, but you better be doing it in private at that point. 
because speculation and unsuredness or ah, let me check it out let me see if that works is a killer not only to you but to brand new people who are just starting out you're here to install a form of discipline a process to the company and to yourselves of trust and understanding of what works and what doesn't work and if you are unsure it just means you need to find yourself back into that mode of training again and that's okay because it happens doesn't it mike yes it does i went back and traders, watched traders my series yesterday traders again. go in and out in and out of of that 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 volume of excellence because you, you i mean you're, you're not perfect i sometimes have to walk away from trading when i start getting that og bug you know that overly greedy bug I got to stop when I see too many things going on and kind of pull my mind out of out of the muck. I know Paul for sure when he gets to a point where he's about to, he has to go pick up his kids from school, he gets out of everything he's in. He's done. I got to go do what I got to go do. A lot of mistakes that happen happen due to attention, paying attention to certain things, being distracted. So that's where a discipline comes into play. But that's okay. That's okay to have that kind of mistake as a attention to detail is, a, is an okay mistake to have because it's something that you can force yourself to get better at. But the moment you begin to try, let me see what happens if I add three extra pips to or three extra contracts to this. Yeah, Paul's off to get his kids right now. <laughs> so if you are a senior, you need to be careful what you say because people are watching. Because we know you're not perfect, but you also, I don't want you to be scuttling the people that are coming in before you because you're just creating doubt from that position. If you are unsure, grab yourself onto another senior. If, if you're a senior, grab to a senior too. If you're an elite, grab onto a senior or a senior too. And ask, combine. You know, collaborate. So what have you had success with? What is what is working with you? What's not working with you? We have a, a very trusted individual here. And that, listen, there's all different types of mentalities of people who come to trade. There's A mentalities, B mentalities, or C mentalities, right? And I've named these kind of type of mentalities after a, a process of your aggression, your color of your life, who you are, that kind of stuff, and how you respond to things. And I can usually tell almost immediately to start talking to you what type of trader you are by the questions that you ask and the way that you go through the systems. Okay, I become very good at this and very proficient with this. I might even create a process that will sort of guess who you are and tell you which way you're going to be able to go by the answers that you give. That's right. I'm a data, I'm a data fiend. I love data. So the point is, is that the type of trader you are will deem your success at various levels, right? There's some of you that are very slow and methodical, very C type mentality, and you're the dailies. You're the people that, uh, guess what? That's me. I love just placing my work orders on. I love to see my results at the end of the month, the end of the week. I'm very long-term oriented, okay? There's some of those B mentalities that have to have just that and a little bit more. They, they, they're very safe on not trading the news and not trading the process that's not, uh, you know, that's that's not in their in their direct grasp or their understanding. They'll they'll settle back a little bit. They may they may not trade at all for a little while and keep trading the dailies and then go in and venture and get an intraday and then jump back out. Right. That that be very reluctant mentality. That's OK. That's a great type of trader as well. They do very well. And then you have a type mentalities and these are the people that you're very aggressive and you're very passionate very emotion remember emotion equals motion right and you always have to keep moving you know you're very hot-blooded you're very passionate you want to get things done you got to make it happen you have to have understanding everything needs to have a source of reason <clears throat> my co-host is one of those people Dr. Brian Bonner is another one of those people. We had this conversation, so I could say that. So you have to begin to find out what type of trader you are and the mentality you have, because you too can be successful. But you're like a dancing trader, right? You take three steps forward and two steps back, and three steps forward and two steps back. 
but yet you're always gaining that one step. And that's your, that's your success path. You have to, in order to be that A-type mentality, you also have to be very thick-skinned, which leads you into a completely different mentality, which goes all the way back to D. And that D mentality is the whole battle. It's the whole kit and caboodle. It's everything. You can be it all. The Buddhists call it no mind, I think it is, or something. Right? You don't have a left or a right, you're both. That's where some of you need to graduate to. You need to get to that Zen way of trading. Let me jump back to this one. You all know that this is all your own risk, right? That even though that I have a tremendous amount of experience doing this stuff, it's not my fault if you fail. But guess what, folks? It's not my fault either if you succeed. It's yours. You have this opportunity in front of you. You always have. And any system that you've done, doesn't that hurt in a way? It does. That all the things that you have done, you could have become successful at if you allowed yourself to be that. And I know that's tough to hear, but it's true. It really is true. You could trade with the clock on the wall. You could flip a coin if you want. You could throw darts at, at wing nuts on a, on a board. It doesn't matter what it is. You can find success in anything that you do if you just are disciplined enough to be able to do it. You ever see that Zig Ziglar cartoon where it's the one guy chopping off at the, he's, he's, he's mining and <clears throat> one guy's walking away from the mine he's doing, the other guy's just about to break through and all the diamonds are there. You ever see this there? It's about you always got to keep pushing forward. You always got to keep moving. My final thoughts for tonight. Very simple. We have arrived as Dex Signals, Dex Trader and Dex Indicators. We have arrived at a level of success we're never going back from. We've created ourselves a foundation of this company that is never going anywhere, ever, unless the internet dies or the world blows up. Even if something happens to me, there's other wonderful people who could take my place. Mike Ficka is one of them. Paul Davies is another. Thor. There's a tremendous amount of other people in this network, Amy and Brian and Dan and all these great people that are here to help support and, and build this company. And that's my dream. I've, I've made my dream. I've made my success. But even with that foundation made, even with that line of foundation, growth is still coming. A tremendous amount of growth is coming. We're developing right now into next week secretly. Now, now it's not a secret, but the flag and pennant system. Because once I was able to open up the algorithm a little bit further, in the flag and pennant, I was able to break down a lot of stuff, which I did yesterday in the core component machine. And when I did that, um, a lot of information came to me. Unfortunately, a lot more information came to me than I really wanted and other systems broke open, <laughs> you know, like a range trading process because of the data was telling me different ranges certain pairs were at. I warned everybody this a long time ago that the data in about a year was going to give us things that we probably, you know, was that genie that we could never put back in the bottle. And once we graduate to Forex into those higher level ones, those multi-million dollar ones, that I don't know where this company is going to end up in a year. I know it's not going to be below this foundation, even if it's just a little bit above. I'm, fuck, I'm ecstatic, man. Because all of us will be millionaires. And even if we stay at this level right here, and incrementally crawl together to those 10, 15, $20,000 months. That to me is huge. Can you imagine? We're surrounded by 1,500 people in this network, 250 plus paying members, and every single one of them making 10, 15, $20,000 a month. To me, that's one hell of a group of investors to buy and build and do anything we wanted to ever do in our lives own real estate, buy businesses, buy marketing programs, whatever it is, all join together and make it happen. That's the ultimate goal. That's where we're going. So lastly, before I let you go and we open this up to questions and answers, never give up, never give in. I hate to sound like a cliche, but it's true. I, I don't ever give up. I keep fighting every day. And every time I think I'm about to give up, 
I put on the sneakers. <laughs> I put on the iron cladded mitts and I prepare for a fight because I'm about to run at my problem. And that's what I'm asking all of you to do. Just put on the arms with me. Make it happen. Help me figure out what's going on. Learn from your mistakes. Become more than what you started with. And always fight for what you got. Okay. That's my time. I want to thank everybody for, for being here today. For those of you that are watching this after the facts, thanks a lot for taking that time to get through the entire video to get here. To everybody that's in the room, stick around because we got some questions and answers. Hey, Mike, thanks a lot. I appreciate you coming out. I thought I was going to need you. I, I appreciate you always backing me up in, me, in, in questions and, and being here with me. Uh, no problem, Max. Mike, Mike's the Padawan. You are, you're the guy that has, and there's a lot of other people that made it work, but Mike's the first person with, with the voice to be able to come out and do what he's doing right now. And I really do appreciate what you've done. You've stepped, you've really, Mike sort of forcibly pushed his way into, <laughs> into my life this way <laughs> because of, of some things that I said to him in the very beginning. And he, and he, he noticed that I needed help and really reached out for it. And I appreciate it sort of demanded more responsibility. And I, I can't thank you enough for that, buddy. No problem, man. And Happy all of you help. can thank, thank Mike as well because he took a huge workload off of me uh, with doing a lot of the consults and helping other people. And if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have been able to do some of the other things we're, we're going to get right now. So thank you again, Mike, for all your work. All right, everybody. I'll see you soon in the, in the room. Stick out. Everybody else, take care. Thank you. And look forward to seeing you inside and trade well. I'm Max and this is Dex.